Okay, as promised, I am going to ship a table. What was I thinking? We'll get it done. Come on, let's go do it. on why this is okay and why it's okay to spend 10 bucks on shipping materials. Actually, I probably would have gone and dropped this off at the UPS store and let them package it up for probably about 25 to 30 dollars. But I promised you I was going to show you how I could ship a table. So here we are. Um, the thing is, when you have such a tremendous profit margin built into an item, you can have choices. You can go spend $10 on boxes. So ask yourself this question the next time you're questioning whether you want to ship something big. Let's say your profit margin after all your fees and the cost of what you paid for the item is 50 bucks. And let's just say it's going to take you an hour. Is it worth it? Would you work for $50 an hour? So see, that's what you gotta ask yourself. Now, this is not gonna take me an hour. Here we go. So let me show you the table first. It's really a cute little, uh, it's tile top, probably 1960s, 1970s, maybe even a little older. It is oak and it's got little carved oak spindly legs. And as I said, it is 20 by 20 by 17, or maybe I didn't say that. I told you the size of the box. This is 20 by 20 by 17. Now, I just happen to have this uh, memory foam. It, it was like a bed topper and I was keeping it to make dog beds. We are no longer going to make dog beds with it. We are going to wrap a table. So the other thing that would work with this would be like a big sheet of foam. You could even use pool noodles, just saying. But I have this, uh, I think it's gonna do the job really well. And so what I am going to do, I'm thinking, is, uh, figure out how to get this all wrapped on here. I think I'm actually gonna use bubble wrap and this. So hold that thought. Okay, so I'm going to put my pieces of foam all around and I'm going to use the bubble wrap to hold the foam on. That's what I'm going to do. Like so. So I'm going to lay the bubble wrap down on the ground and hope that I stay within your vision here. And I may look a little awkward and a little silly, and that's okay. I do it all for you. All right, so make sure this is where we want it on here. It's memory foam, so it's a little stretchy. 
wants to slide. All right. All right. Here we go. We got this. We got this. All right. I got the cake from my new roll of bubble wrap. Hang over. My dogs are totally freaked out right now. I just will have you know.
well, no, it's really not going to move around in this box. Okay. All right, so this is where we take box number two, which is exactly the same size. And I would find it easier to frame the box onto the outside than the inside. So, Frankenboxing that down. All right, so what I need to do is I need to cut some of the extra flappage. Well, maybe not. You know what? I'm going to. Because this is not a matter of weight. Sorry. Not a matter of weight at this point. This is a matter of dimension. So leaving extra cardboard is not going to hurt a thing. So I'm going to fasten these down so I can work around it. Sorry, I can't quite show you what that looks like, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to in just a sec. pretty. We're going with four more function. No. Is that right? No. Function over form. Yeah, I said that wrong. All right, let me show you what I've done in here. All right, so you can see all I've done is kind of take the inner flaps of this box, okay? Okay, all right. Now, so these are hitting the ground. I'm gonna just bend these up, because I'm not gonna come off until I see just how much room I have to cut off. And if I step on this tape one more time, all right, and then I'm gonna Press this down more on here. And it is probably going to tear the box a bit. It happens. It happens. It's okay. It's holding together enough for us to get this job done. Because my goal is to only have to close these tops snugly and not have to cut anything off the top. Okay? Now we're going to close the top, press it down as far as we can go. Sit up. Ah, sit up. Okay. Now I'm going to take this. going to take off these extra flaps. And the cool thing is, I will have cardboard for some of my other stuff now. chicken dog. All right. 
my chicken dog. make sure that it's going to stay closed. So I'm going to turn it upside down here and go around here first. Actually, I'm going to do a little bit of this first. We fight a lot. It's a love-hate relationship. There you go. Get back. All right. It's not pretty. <laughs> it's not pretty. And now we're going to go around the other way. And the way I'm going to do that is on this end. And I'm almost out of tape on this roll. We might run out. one.